afternoon, everybody. Ni hao. Um, my name is Shen Pan Kim Sar, and I am here on behalf of the Tibetan people inside and outside Tibet, and I'm officially here on behalf of the Tibetan National Congress. Firstly, again, on behalf of all the Tibetan people inside and outside Tibet, I want to express my heartfelt and deep solidarity with the people inside China, and especially with everyone that was uh, a part of the 1989 Tiananmen Square mass protest. Please give yourselves a round of applause. This, that was a historic event and, and we are all gathered here because of that one incident. A lot of people are not aware that at the same time when when the 1989 Tiananmen Square happened in April and June, um, May and June, from April to June, during that same time, during the spring in Lhasa, in the capital of Tibet, there was a major martial law that was called. Martial law was deployed inside Lhasa too. So we feel and we understand what uh, what it means to be a part of your rally today. And I again, once again, I deeply, deeply express my gratitude and I thank you for inviting me here on behalf of the Tibetan people. 其实可能在场的很多中国朋友不知道的是，在同一年，一九八九年的四月至六月，啊，在西藏的首都拉萨也发生了一起惨剧。所以，Kim we are 27 years later. It's been 27 years since that massive historic protest by the brave Chinese students and democratic, democracy-loving Chinese people. But now, 27 years later, the time has come. The time has come for the world to be aware of what it is that is actually happening inside China and inside Tibet. The time has come for the world to recognize the Chinese government the Chinese Communist Party. The world has to recognize that they are the most sophisticated terrorists in the world. 距离二十七年前，那些学生和热爱民主的中国人在天安门广场上被屠杀的惨剧，已经快三个三个十年了。现在我们已经到达了让全世界认识的时间世界应该认识到二十七年前在中国和西藏发生了怎么样的惨剧还应该认识到中国共产党中国政府是这个世界上最复杂最高明的恐怖组织 And there was about one million students and protesters at Tiananmen Square at that time and 400 cities across China protesting against the Chinese government 27 years ago 2016 there is over 100,000 protests that is happening inside China that a lot of people are not aware of and the reason why people are not aware of all these internal uh, protests happening inside China is because there is still a major lack of free press free speech, freedom of speech inside China and that was one of your demands at that time, the Tiananmen Square. You, you know, it was for human rights, it was for, uh, it was to call the elite corruption, uh, the, the people that were corrupted, and it was to call for freedom of speech and freedom of press. And today, there is over 100,000 protests happening inside China. Now, this one, this message especially here, all the American people right here, all my American brothers and sisters that are walking by, I need you guys to listen to this. The common social narrative about China today is that China is very, very powerful and everybody is scared of China. 
I want you guys to know, psychologically, China is very, very scared. China is so fragile from the inside. What I call them is a big blow-up dragon. You know, these guys, the Chinese government is nothing but a big blow-up dragon. It is meant to intimidate you. But we are not meant to be intimidated. They are nothing but a big bully. So the freedom-loving people, American people, international people, needs to be aware that China, just like any other tyrant government empires in history, China will break. There is over 100, uh, over 100 million Falun Gong people inside China. There is so many, over 300 million Buddhists inside, uh, inside China. And there's so many democracy-loving people inside China. So the time has come for us all to collectively stand against the Chinese government and hold them accountable. Uh,在二十七年前天安门广场上聚集了几十万人，他们的游行诉求就是要反对中国政府的暴政，反对贪污腐败，需要求自由结社，出版自由言论自由等等各种其他国家都拥有的人权权利。那么这么大规模的抗
。如果他们不害怕，他们就会允许言论自由；如果他们不害怕，他们会就让外国的记者自由地进驻中国和图伯特。但是他们并没有这样做，因为他们有太多的血腥罪恶需要去掩盖和隐藏。他们对人权。对人类文明、对人道组织、对经济、对环境的各种践踏和破坏，都是他们最心虚、最冷酷的表现。现在，我们应该呼吁所有的国际同胞、各种国际组织，几十亿的人民来共同合作，挑战这一个恐怖的集权、集权统治政府，让他感觉到真正的害怕。As a Tibetan now, myself, as a Tibetan activist, as a Tibetan human rights activist, and as a Tibetan freedom activist, it is my life's goal to make sure I do everything I can to raise awareness and to, to figure out ways, strategic ways, to break the Chinese government from the inside. And it is possible. I really want you guys to think that it is possible. China will be free. Tibet will be free. But we have to believe that China will be free. We have to believe that Tibet will be free. That is the beginning. Because the Chinese government, scientifically, the way they are functioning, the way they are working, is not sustainable. They cannot sustain themselves to the barrel of a gun. This whole totalitarian attitude will not sustain. The Roman Empire did not sustain. The Mongolians did not sustain. The Portuguese, the Spaniards, the British Empire, the Chinese Empire, the so-called the Chinese Communist Party will break, and it will break in our lifetime. We just have to make sure we participate in that breaking of that government. 丁夏先生是呃致力于图伯特自由解放的一个。民主人士，那么他会将自己的这一生都奉献给这个事业，他也会将自己的一生奉献给中国的自由和解放。他呼吁现场所有人都需要投入到这中间来。那么我们要做的第一件事情就是发自心底的相信。相信中国政府会在我们的有生之年倒塌，因为这样的一个集权它是不可以长久的。这种靠着血腥和暴力维持的集权统治，在历史上就没有长久过。我们一定要有信心，从自己做起，在有生之年，我们一定能看到这个独裁政府的垮台。打倒共产党。And lastly, on behalf of all my Tibetan brothers and sisters inside Tibet and outside Tibet. That are spread all over the world. I want you guys to know, and I want you to hear, that as a dedicated Tibetan myself, I have been fighting for the Tibetan independence movement for the last 20 years in North America in whatever ways I can. And I am not an idiot. I am not a dumb person. I'm socially, politically, psychologically, spiritually very, very aware. I'm economically aware, environmentally conscious, and I know for a fact. That Tibet will be free. Tibet will be free, and to the Tibetan people inside Tibet and outside Tibet, and this is my personal request to our exile government, the Tibetan government in exile, also known as the Central Tibetan Administration in Dharamsala. I am with the Central Tibetan Administration, and I fight along with them for our movement. But this is my request to the leadership, Tibetan leaderships. It is time for us to be defiant. It is time for the Tibetan leadership to be defined, and it is time to call a spade a spade. A black, black, white, white. Wrong is wrong. Right is right. It is time for us to call for complete independence of Tibet. It is. It is time for us to claim what is rightfully ours. And I tell all my brothers and sisters, please, my Tibetan brothers and sisters around the world. We are on the right side of history. That's why we are fighting for our freedom. Now, if we want to see a free Tibet, we have to make sure we stay on the right side of history. And in order to stay on the right side of history, we have to demand complete independence. Bagalo! Bagalo! Free China! Free China! Free China! Free China! Free China! Free Tibet! Free Tibet! Free Tibet! Free Tibet! The 
Chinese government will break. They will break. It is inevitable. It is absolutely inevitable. So my Chinese brothers and sisters inside China, thanks to the internet, whoever whoever's going to see this, my Chinese brothers and sisters inside China, I want you guys to know that you are not alone. The whole world is watching. And the time is coming. The time is coming for the international communities to gather together and hold the Chinese government accountable. Thank you very much. Tashi Dele, Xie Xie. 向突破特人民和中国人民宣告